Hello and welcome to this video. I have white again. Okay, so a uh, Sicilian defense. Yeah, I'm really doing very okay with my keep it simple repertoire. There's really no reason to not play it. Oh wow, I'm a bit surprised. Yeah, I'm not unhappy about this. Uh, there's always this hole on d5 that you can play play for. And so it loses a bit of time, but nah, that's really not that's not the most precise move. I can't wait here. The only way for him to avoid the Bishop against knight scenario now is knight d8. And hmm, I can still just go to e3 and be better. Hmm, I'm a bit better because the uh, knight is just the better piece. Uh, sorry, the bishop is just the better piece. So let's see what to do here. He has c4 now on the cards. Mm. Knight c4 is a bit, a bit annoying, I shouldn't do that. So let's stop c4. Yeah, it's a notoriously solid position, <laughs> that black ass. But um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if I take it, rook takes a5, and ready to jump to d5. A5 is not not the move I'm extremely happy with. I should also be fine without having to move A5. Ugh, that looks ugly. <laughs> Yeah, but maybe maybe it's not a problem. Mm, I can take knight b6 and then put the knight to d5. I just it, it, it feels a little bit simplistic, but maybe it's just good, yeah. to d5, queen c4, things like that. He's still suffering a bit from that bishop being um, a bad piece. Taking c5 and threatening knight f6 check. What now? Knight c7. Yeah, I can still stay. I can still just take c5. Yeah, that looks bad for black. Mm. 
This is no good. Okay. What is he going to do? Move the king, maybe. I wonder if there is some idea with bishop takes c5 and queen c8, but my queen is, is covered on c4. That is not something that is really uh, worrisome. No, I don't see a good move. Yeah, this ending is not going to be much fun for him. And maybe let's prevent any F5 stuff. Anyway, I've got all the time here. Knight f5 for a double attack. Yeah, but What's going on here. Really, still weather to drive the Harley. Hmm. It's been cold. is a bit a bit harsh, but it wasn't <laughs> not the weather you you would think uh, people would. Um, bring out their, their shoppers but uh, some people really love to to ride the bike yeah it's just yes to go 98 I mean you cannot trade oh, he thinks he can trade really Yeah, just run for the pawns. Going to win them all. Yeah, technical technical game, but all of a sudden there was a pawn dropping. Um, yeah, this is just um, um, a position type that is going to be eternally better for white. I'm a, I'm surprised that the engine suggests C4, but thinking about it, it's not a bad choice. C4 in this position, in order to play this and still uh, play for this advantage, and then the knight to d5. Interesting alternative. Sorry, I played rook d1, which is very comparable. I did not want to do that. I wanted to have the c4 square for my pieces yeah here it's interesting i can take on f6 it's just going to be extremely oops extremely slow and if i have enough time here to put the knight here and queen to c4 and so on it's great it's just too slow yeah this is why i went knight d2 and now we had knight e8 and um yeah bishop takes e7 suggested by the engine is just a gross strategic error that's a, it's a completely ridiculous move. Yeah, it's, it's just totally ridiculous. You have to keep your bishop in order to get something going. And here I'm just slightly better forever, basically. Rook d7, knight c4, rook d8, take, take. Now a5 was the alternative. That was uh, the other idea that is possible. At the end, I went for rook d1, which is maybe not as strong. f6 was a strange choice, yeah. I thought he would take, yeah, and then go from there. Uh, b5, I did not really have on the radar all that much, but it's of course possible. Hmm. Yeah, that is okay for black, yeah. He's got, he's got the space, and I cannot go to d5 anytime soon. That was his opportunity. Instead he went f6 and this is now weird because I get into this really great position on d5 
And now it's actually a little bit awkward already. Yeah? You see that the engine, I'm not sure here, you see the Evalia 1 plus 4. It's really um, awkward and after bishop d6, queen c4, you're basically toast. Yeah, it was a bit weird that he, that he decided to trade everything. Okay, now we see that queen c8 was even stronger, but the ending is just a win. A knight ending a pawn up when there's just nothing special going on is usually a win. Or gives at least very, very uh, good winning chances. And here, strangely enough, he traded. Of course, knight e8 looks, um, yeah, looks sick, but yeah, you have to do it. And um, yeah, I still need a little bit of technical, technical play. To, to win this. I'm not even sure what I would have done. Engine suggests g4. Yeah, maybe. Whenever he goes g6, the thing is, let's say I do that. Whenever he goes g6 and I'm traveling here, then I'm always looking at that weakness. And that's awkward. Huh? You have to go into a passive def defense there. For example, what the engine is giving here, it's just completely, completely lost. Yeah? It's always tied to that and going here, push the pawns, just, just winning. Yeah, okay. Thanks for watching.